Hello all, welcome to the Security Tube Metasploit Framework Expert Part 10. In this video, we will continue with post exploitation and look at the ISPIA and sniffer extensions in Metapreter. This video is part of the Security Tube Metasploit Framework Expert course and certification. For more information, please visit securitytube.net slash SMFE. Our certifications are currently being taken by students from over 30 plus countries around the world. And this video is made available free of charge in line with Security Tube's vision of providing free yet quality educational material to the community. Okay, so let's go back to our setup. It's the exact same setup. Let's quickly exploit the victim so that we have a Metapreter session. Now, one of the next extensions I wanted to look at is Ispia, which is not loaded by default. So Ispia just basically has one command to it, which is screen grab, which attempts to grab the screenshot. This is similar to the screenshot command which is available with the STD API with one key difference. In the case of screen grab, you need to ensure first that the current desktop uh, for the Metapreter session is actually WinSTA0 default to actually get a real screenshot of the screen. So if I do a get UID, if you notice I'm system, if I do get desktop, what you would notice is I have a service desktop, right, which is a non-interactive desktop as we've uh, learned in a previous video. So now if I actually do a screen grab, what you would notice is that I get nothing, right? This is just a black dark screen with nothing in there. And the reason, as I mentioned, is the fact that our current desktop is a service desktop rather than WinSTA0 default. So here is what I'm going to do. I'm quickly just going to go ahead and migrate to a process explorer, which would have access to the current interactive desktop. Now, there are other commands like set desktop, but what I've seen in my experience is they aren't that stable at times. But as I said, this is my experience. So now our desktop is WinSTA0 default, perfect. And if I run the same screen gap command, right there you go, we have the screen of the victim, right? So this is all about the SPI extension. The next extension which we would want to look at is the sniffer extension. Again, not loaded by default. So let's load sniffer. And this would give us a couple of commands to access the sniffer extension. Now, what does the sniffer extension allow us to do? It allows us to do remote sniffing on the LAN segment on which the host is currently connected or the victim is connected, right? So the first step is actually to look at the allowed list of devices, which in our case, if you notice what we are really interested in is that there seems to be two adapters. Uh, only adapter one seems to be enabled and available for use, right? So let's start the sniffing and to start the sniffer, you will need to mention two things. One is the interface ID and the other is the packet buffer size, right? Now, if this were a Linux machine which had POSIX compatibility, then you could also have mentioned a BPF or a Berkeley packet filter, which would allow you to only look at packets you're interested in. Unfortunately, this is not possible on Windows currently. So we have sniffer underscore start interface ID is one, which is this interface. And let's give a packet buffer of size 1024, right? So it says sniffer has started. 
Now, if you want to monitor the statistics, you can just hit sniffer stats with the interface ID. And if you notice, currently it says there are zero packets. Now, let me just generate some packets by pinging the remote system. So ping 192.168.1.100. And now, if I look at the stats, you would actually see that the number of packets are increasing, right? Now, if you wanted to download all of this data, what you need to do is just hit sniffer underscore dump along with the interface ID and a local PCAP file, let's say demo.pcap. And this will download the PCAP file or all that packet which has been currently stored on the victim down to your computer, right? What you could try doing is actually opening up this pcap file in Wireshark just to look at the packets. We have some tea in the meantime. Right, and there you go. As expected, we see the ICMP ping request responses along with one additional packet which seems to be a uh, packet which Windows machines seem to send quite a lot right using protocol browser okay now if you want to stop the sniffing because what you would see is that the sniffing would indefinitely continue uh, if you do not stop it right of course you would need more packets uh, but you could actually stop the sniffer by using sniffer underscore stop and this would stop it and you can give an interface ID. What this also amazingly means is that you can start sniffing on multiple interfaces at the same time, download capture files for each of these interfaces separately and then also stop the sniffing on different interfaces separately. Why is this helpful? Well, a lot of times you may want to monitor different things like is the admin connecting or is the victim connecting to an FTP site, uh, you know, maybe clear text usernames and passwords which may leave when the victim uses something like a web browser uh, which does not use HTTPS. A lot of this activity can be captured by simply sniffing on the local interface, right? So this is what we can do. Remember, in the case of Metapreter SPI extension, we can take screenshots remotely, provided we are using WinSTA0 default. Explorer.exe is a good bet. Uh, and always check using get desktop before you use STD, uh, before you use the SPI extension. Sniffer extension, well, has some rudimentary support for filters, but typically only on Linux-based systems. Unfortunately, on Windows, this does not work, so you're going to get all packets which go off on the wire. That's all for this video. Uh, thank you very much. This video is part of the Security Tube Metasploit Framework Expert Series. So have a look at securitytube.net slash SMFE if you would like to subscribe to this courseware. For those watching this video on Security Tube, Please leave your comments behind as this is what keeps us going to keep contributing to the free education movement here on Security Tube. Thank you. Have a great day.